So great to be sitting next to the one and only Matthew McConaughey, hot on the heels of his Oscar and Golden Globe wins for the Dallas Buyers Club and his Emmy nomination for True Detective. The man is everywhere. Cover of magazines starring in the highly anticipated Interstellar, which I want to say has gotten terrific reviews. Exhilarating being one of the descriptive words. Uh, Matthew plays former astronaut turned farmer charged with saving the world. But first, he needs to get to the bottom of what teachers are telling his daughter about space exploration. Useless machines. And if we don't want a repeat of the excess and wastefulness of the 20th century, then we need to teach our kids about this planet, not tales of leaving it. You know, one of those useless machines they used to make was called an MRI. And if we had any of those left, the doctors would have been able to find the cyst in my wife's brain before she died instead of afterwards. And then she'd have been the one sitting there listening to this instead of me, which had been a good thing because she was always the, the calmer one. This mm. takes place in the near future, and it's a space adventure that you call one hell of a ride. Yeah. I mean, go, we go further into space in this film than... I've ever read and surely further than I've ever seen on film. Yeah. You know, I mean, from wormholes to, to, to black holes to surfing 1,600 foot waves yeah. in a spaceship. And, and all Jessica Chastain, who was just on without a green screen. No green screen. Yeah, Christopher Nolan, the director and writer, he builds all the sets. So as an actor, you don't have to play pretend as much. You just react to what's happening. And uh, that's much more fun and easier as an actor. The, the movie is epic, yeah. and yet very intimate mm -hmm. and emotional. That's, a, that's a, a lot to try to get in there, and Christopher Nolan, that's what he does. Yeah, and I think he did it uh, to, to the best he's done it yet in this film. I think this film is more personal to him. Um, I mean, at its heart, it's a, it's a father-daughter relationship. It's a parent-child yeah. relationship, and, and, and how do you say goodbye um, without a guaranteed return ticket? for where, where, you're, where you're going, which yeah. is what happens to my man Cooper. Um, and that part everybody will understand. If you're a parent, or we've all been children before, we've all had those goodbyes, and this is to the extreme. I have to tell you, watching it, I, I couldn't help, but uh, you seem so connected, not only to Coop, but to your feisty daughter, Murph. Yeah. Um, you had to be influenced in thinking about your kids in some way, I would imagine. I suppose so. I've been asked that question a lot. I mean, I didn't every day practically think, oh, how do I feel about my daughter Vita? But being a father, I think it was for four years at that point, I'm sure it had a lot of import on my performance and at least my understanding of it. Uh, I, so many questions about this film. Let me just say, it's phenomenal, people. It is great. It opens this week. We have a lot to also talk about, though, because our viewers have written in. Do you mind? Please. Because they love you madly. Um, social media has um, given us these questions. We are calling this our all right, all right, all rightening round. All right. I like the sound of that. Trish has tweeted, what's your favorite movie that you've ever worked on? Oh, well, right now I would say Interstellar, and you'll see why this Friday. No, you will. Buckle yeah. up. Instagram, Stacy, Austin, Texas, says, what's your most treasured family tradition, and what's your favorite camping spot? Oh, good question. Family tradition? I mean, I got to say, uh, we usually get together for, for Christmas around for two weeks, and we go to some, one of our one of our family's house. We, we, we pick it out around October, and that usually lasts two good weeks. Um, favorite camping spot? Probably down on the Frio River in South Texas. All right, Stacy, we'll meet you there. Uh, Denise on Twitter wondering, has having a family changed the roles you accept? Probably. I'm still not making, well, before Interstellar, I wasn't really making many that my kids could go see for a while. Interstell <laughs> Interstellar they can. Um, but it probably has in ways I don't even know. Yep. Sure. And, and to be continued. Hey, everybody, it's Matthew's birthday. Yeah. And uh, so we, we got you some treats. Great. Can you can come on out? Happy birthday, Matthew. Thank McConaughey. you. Thank, Thank you. you for the gift of Interstellar. It is a ride and a half. Enjoy and, it. Um, and, and I have to tell everybody that it opens nationwide on this Friday. Didn't we also get him a journal? Isn't there a journal for this man? I've got well, tacos, uh, backstage. I've got cake. You got baby tacos, journal, you got cake, and we do have a journal because of that very cool thing that you wrote in GQ magazine. Every man should have a journal on that. Every Something man should have a read. journal. That's right. Hey, thanks to Peter Callahan Enjoy. for the food. See the movie Interstellar. Okay. When does it open? Tell us when it opens this very Friday, quick. The this Friday, the 7th of November, 2014. Happy birthday, Enjoy. Matthew. Boom. Yeah. All right, all right, all righty.